Yes. Courtney Alberni. Mr. Speaker, decades of liberal and conservative mismanagement of our fisheries has left Chinook salmon populations in a desperate situation. Instead of acting with urgency, liberals just keep reannouncing the same funding they promised for restoration, enhancement, and lost habitat protections. But the money's not flowing. The liberals can keep can find four and a half billion dollars for their pipeline expansion, but they can't get the money out the door to support local fishers and communities affected by fisheries closures. Will the minister finally commit to immediately rolling out these necessary funds? What are they waiting for, Mr. Speaker? Honourable Minister of Fisheries. Mr. Speaker, I was very pleased to stand with Premier John Horgan about a month or so ago to announce the, the BC Salmon Restoration and Innovation Fund, which is $142 million focused on ha habitat restoration in British Columbia, the largest investment ever made in habitat restoration. We have expedited the process to ensure that we are taking in uh, 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 applications with respect to, to that fund, and we will be commencing uh, decisions on those by early June. I think that a two-and-a-half-month period to solicit applications and to make decisions is a pretty darn fast pretty period of time. Fair, yeah. Honourable member for North Island, Powell River. Well, waiting for that announcement certainly took a lot of time when wild exactly. salmon on our coastline are yeah. suffering every single day. And we have known this, and we've known this for years. But the Liberals had a consultation process that was shoddy at best. The late announcement left small businesses scrambling. This problem is the result of decades of mismanagement and broken Liberal promises on habitat restoration. Hatcheries along along the coast have not seen an increase in funding for over 35 years. So they've got 12 million for Loblaws fridges. Where is the money for the hatcheries? So when will this government take responsibility and stop the honorable minister of fisheries? Mr. Speaker, addressing the decline in uh, Fraser River Chinook is obviously a complicated process. It involves money going into habitat restoration, which we announced with Premier Horgan of British Columbia. It involves the new Fisheries Act, which provides, uh, bring, brings back the lost protections that were lost under the previous Conservative government. It focuses on in, ensuring that appropriate fisheries management is taking place, which was the announcement I made last week. It also focuses on ensuring that we're discussing issues relating to supplementation in hatcheries, which is a, an issue that, that there are certainly pros and cons associated with that from a science perspective. We are engaging that conversation with the recreational fishery, and we will continue to do so. Yeah.